Ich bin ja in einem Traum. Wow, I'm in a dream. Cool, ich träume. Cool, I dream. Ich träume. Ah, ich I bin dream. Klasse. I'm in a dream class. Oh, den schaue ich mir da jetzt mal genauer an. Oh, I'll take a good look at that, the dream. Ach, wen haben wir denn da? Oh, who do we have here? Träumst du auch gerade? Oder ist das jetzt... Are you dreaming too? Or is this just a copy? That I see here. I think we're dreaming. Can this be? Yes, I think so. Anyway, I'm in a dream. You too? Oh yeah. And who is the chic lady? I have no idea where we are. So, all a bit strange. Yes, it seems a bit like dreamland here. Dreamland? Palm trees? Yes, how did you manage to get into the dream? I was just there. Yes? Yeah, I was just looking at the hands earlier and I was like, oh look, they look very different. My hands look like my hands. Normally you only have 8 or 9 fingers or 12. So I was a little unsure at first. Yes, then we managed to dream together. Yes, do we want to explore the dream a bit? Yes, I would say so too. Let's go. Yes, okay. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Here you are again after a long time. The Matrixers. With the pretty one. Shiva and the super likable Jonathan. Yes, welcome to the Matrix and today our topic is, dreaming together. Oh yes, I have to say it's an exciting topic, because many have asked me whether it's even possible for two people to meet in the same dream. Can you? Let's see it that way. I've had a few experiences with dreams together. You too, right? And in the case of shared dreams, it looks like two people who are perhaps lying in one bed preferably have the opportunity to concentrate on the same dream or to make up your mind to step into the same dream. And of course the advantage is that you can dream together, experience adventures together, transform the dream together according to your own wishes, whatever you want. You all know what you can do in a lucid dream or lucid dream can do anything like that. And there you could fly together, explore the dream world and the like. Yes, we recently had a dream together but we didn't know it. But the next morning we talked about it. Hey you, I was at a club with you tonight and he said yes, I was at a club with you too. And I think that was kind of an objective reality that exists outside of our reality. Kind of permanent. An alternate reality yes, an alternate reality. So yeah, exactly. And I was there about 10 years ago. And you can also fly in this world. That means it's not just our physical 3D reality. And then I flew to this club. And then old acquaintances greeted me and said yes, man, are you back and what have you been up to? And I found it totally funny that I came back after 10 years and they told me about their lives and that was very exciting. So you haven't been in this world for 10 years, so to speak, haven't you? Apparently they didn't see you for 10 years. Exactly. And then I go there again and then you were there too. Yes, interesting, interesting. Look. Yes, yeah. Well we didn't know until after we woke up. Oh, look, we had a dream together. We both visited the same reality, at the same time. And of course, when I meet you in a dream, for example, I think at first that this is just some alternative Shiva. And now not the Shiva that I know so well here. And that's what I accepted in this dream. But it was only afterwards that we realized, oh look, that's the problem with not becoming lucid in the dream. Yes exactly. And it's important that you 
tell each other the dreams the next morning and then hope that you might have had a dream together, with the same memories. Well, dreams aren't as personal as you might think, resp. Do not have the absolutely subjective reality, but there are also dream levels where you can meet and experience things together, which would then come close to a much more objective reality. Maybe we want to tell our viewers how we can encourage them to dream together, maybe a technique or something. It is now primarily for couples or for people who like to sleep together in one bed. Just like that. You never know. You don't know. Maybe a good friend or friend plus. It's not known exactly. And that goes as follows. You go to bed at night. Yes, close together not on top of each other, but side by side. Of course she decides to dream together. Of course you can somehow influence where you end up now. Although, that's definitely possible somehow. But don't worry about what it's supposed to be like, what it's supposed to look like or anything. A higher intelligence or your higher self, if you will, takes over. Just plan to dream together and if it works your higher self will bring you into a dream both at the same time. So don't think about the dream. Only the intention to dream together counts. It is best to fall asleep with this intention as your last thought. Yes? Exactly. And when you lie next to each other in bed so snugly, you both hook up next to each other. Yes, hook it up really nicely. And that's an old Indian technique to be able to dream together. The Indians say that if you want to dream together, you can be torn apart by switching from waking reality to dreaming reality. Yes, even in all possible directions. That is correct. So you have to keep at it. The best way to intensify it is to grab your arm. So, so yes that you also grab your arm so that you don't get torn apart during the change. It's an ancient Native American technique. Of course, there are other techniques for dreaming together. For example, a technique that I also worked with for a while. The point was that you specifically chose a dream. In fact, you create a dream so to speak. You can create a real city, for example. You can sit down in groups of two, three, even ten, it doesn't matter. And build a common city. The city then gets a name. At that time we had the city of Elon, that's what we called it. And then we really have houses like that, some of us painted. A map was made of what the houses look like there what the forest looked like. So actually a bit like these, these role players. So what are they called? RPGs. RPGs, hit right there. And there are quite a few role-playing games that you can play like that and that's done a bit there. Or maybe in live role-playing, in this LARP, role-playing and the like. There's also a bit of work involved in assigning roles or being in certain environments where maybe the orcs live, or the elves or dark elves or other warriors or something. And that's the point, that you sit down together and build on this city, that you also imagine the city in your mind. Then when you go to bed at night, all ten people do not need to be in one bed for this. That's also a big advantage. And don't have to interlock in rank and file, or anything. 
Of course you can too, folks. Who would want mattresses like that in the living room? Sure, you can do it if you want, but it's not necessary with this technique. You can build on this city. Deal with it every day. Even if you go to bed at night, imagine this city. All the pictures that have been painted, everything that has been agreed. You can make waterfalls there, towers, castles. You can create whatever you want in this city. And the more thoughts and ideas you have about this city, the more it becomes reality. I have an idea. We've been to that train station with a black hole in there before. That already exists. We can meet up there too. Then let's jump into the hole and see what happens. Yes. That's also a possibility. Yeah, right. So dream. Dream together. There's an English term for that too. It's called dream sharing. I can show that again. And so dream sharing or dreaming together is one possible skill to use as a lucid dreamer. But you don't have to be lucid either. We have seen. We don't have to. Yes, when we both met in the club, we weren't lucid at that moment either. And then you can work on becoming lucid in this dream as well, as you may have seen in our opening credits. We were lucid then. Yes. So you don't necessarily have to be lucid to dream together. A certain clarity is enough. And of course it depends on your memory skills. Then of course we would be happy if you leave comments. For example, have you ever dreamed together? Do you have other techniques how to dream together or ideas and suggestions? Yes, and what are your experiences with common dreams? Yes, that would be great. A few comments. What have you already experienced? Have you managed to dream together yet? We would be interested. Because not many people can do that. I have to tell you. So you need a bit more time than arranging an evening to do it. So it may well be that you will need days, weeks, maybe even a few months. Depends on how motivated you are. How important that is to you and how exciting you find it. If you have feelings about it, for example finding it exciting, finding it exciting, then it will certainly work faster than if you think, oh yes, come on. Let's try. Let's try. And if it doesn't work, then we'll go play around of first-person shooters. Then maybe it won't work out so well. Or it happens to you randomly like with us. Inadvert yes, well, I had this common dream several times. Coincidentally, I must say, but I had already planned it a few times and then it worked out. But I had most common experiences in the astral body with others. So it's easier to meet and share experiences there. On the other hand, achieving out-of-body experience is more difficult than lucid dreams. So how to turn it? There are always pros and cons somewhere. I still have goodies for you. Namely, Jonathan wrote a book. It's all about dreaming together. What is the name of the wonderful book? Tanya is dreaming. It is really well written and very exciting and insightful. Yes. But it's not non-fiction now. No, it's not non-fiction. It's a fantasy novel for young and old I would say. But instructive. Yes, it is educational and all the stuff that was researched in there etc. All authentic. And yes, very exciting. Tanya dreams here. Also available on Amazon as a Kindle ebook, but not as a real physical book. No, Kindle. It's only available as a Kindle ebook to download, view, and read through. Very exciting. I can only recommend. Yes, they also dream together in the book. And a lot. Almost always, just all the time. I can say they're really good at it. Instant. Easy without practice. 
Simply that way. Yes, I also thought about how I should do it in a book so that people lie down and then start dreaming together. Sort of like saying in the movie or in the movie that you have to focus on moving that object with your mind. And flop. And whoops, the thing moves. Why are people doing this? Motivation? No, no, because nobody wants to look at the 523 attempts beforehand where it didn't work, you understand. And that was also the case in my book. Well, I didn't want to confront the reader with how often Tanya tried to practice dreaming together with the others. So I would have put it in one sentence. Tanya practiced dreaming 523. It worked 524 times. Yes, but you have to say that Tanya is also very talented. Yes, of course. Besides, it happened to her more or less on her own. Oh, I see. Lucky one. Yes. Allah ha. Oops. So, we look forward to your comments. Have you ever dreamed together? Or how exciting do you find the topic? And yes, we might see each other. If you want to intensify your dreams and increase dream recall, we're showing ads today. And these are really, really brilliant frequencies. Even animals react to them, as we have found. They grab themselves there and then fall asleep. Namely, these are the alpha waves for dream recall boosting. So really brilliant frequencies. I can recommend them to you. Yes, if you let the frequencies run quietly in the background during the day, etc. Listens to. Then it. Promotes your dream memory. Exactly www. Yes, we best write the link exactly to this frequency below in the description. If you're interested. Of course there are also many other frequencies for strange dreams, crazy dreams and other dreams. But it's best for now. Yes, I would also recommend the alpha waves for dreaming together, so that you can also remember your joint results. Because who knows how many times you've dreamed with someone and didn't remember. That's the first problem. Advertising end. So, until next time, I would say or I would say yes too. Nice that you were there with the Matrixers. Ciao.